So here I'm holding a pair of, this is a pair of Gassas tefillin, Gassa meaning thick. It's made out of very thick skins that use bull skins to make it, which is the thickest skins out there. Um, this is a fairly new invention to make batim this way. It started around well, roughly around 100 years ago in Eretz Yisrael. And today it became, from today it's pretty much the standard, the standard way of making tefillin in Eretz Yisrael. Um, the good thing about such a pair of tefillin is, such a set of batim is that because it's made from such a thick skin, it's very, very durable. And, you know, people buying tefillin for their bar mitzvah boys, they don't have to worry that it's going to get banged up or whatever, because this can handle a lot before before it'll get gets ruined. Um, we have somebody in Eretz Yisrael who makes these batim for us, this special order for us with our specifications. Um, we get it before it's finished. We get it in this stage. And we do a full inspection on every single bias. One of the things we check for is to make sure there is no synthetic glue which was put anywhere on the tefillin. Sometimes it's a very common practice. If you have, for whatever reason, a little indent or whatever, they'll take synthetic filler or glue and just fill it up. And then after it's all painted, it all looks the same. So we check for that. Um, also, this <coughs> this tefillin, because it's, they make it with such a thick skin, when the tefillin is done, it's not perfectly flat, usually, and they'll put it on a shaving machine and shave down a sliver till they get it all starts to be perfectly flat. Since the, th the skin is very thick, you're able to take off a little bit and you didn't make a hole in the tefillin. However, if the, which this happens pretty often, that the guy who makes the batim, we call him the batim macher, if he doesn't do a good job, and it's pretty bumpy on the top, and then you gotta shave down a lot till you get a smooth surface. So then you can end up with cracks on the top without, and once it's painted, no one will ever know. But you'll see lines on the top which can indicate that there are cracks. So we check every single bias to see how much was was how much was cut down, and only the best of the best that were almost perfect before they went to be sent, were sent in to be shave down is what we take and um, those are the gases bottom and that's what our bottom are different than everybody else's nobody else does such an inspection on their bottom and and um, that's why ours is all is a step ahead now these are the bottom that we make in-house these are what we call dacois these are made out of a thin skin under the skin of an unborn calf um, if you look at it you'll see it does not have that crisp look it was not shaved down after it was done because it's a thin skin you can't shave anything otherwise it goes straight through and make a hole it's got all the bumps and all the natural creases or however whatever it was how it was made that's how the finished product will be this has a lot of extra hidurin that you cannot do with the gases however it is a lot more delicate i mean this is if anything the traditional film this is this is the type of film that you've been wore for hundreds and hundreds of years in europe um, so it definitely is the more Mahudra option, however this is the more durable option.